giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. So with that, <laughs> I think we're going to move over to Tesla and um, let our Canadian talk. Oh, so, uh, that, was, that was short-lived. Oh, well. So, so, so Tegan, how's, how's Tesla looking? Tesla, home of electric cars and a division that is basically anyone's game. So basically for this, I'll go through some of the favorites, breaking it down by region. Starting with uh, Michigan, we've got uh, 3620, the average Joes from St. Joseph. For them, I think the big thing is, will their sideways scoring ability prove to be useful under defense? Uh, it could be if they're getting pushed around around the cargo ship, and they do have a very strong climb. This year saw them uh, reaching finals twice, including once at the MSC Dow Field, and they're obviously going to be looking for more. Uh, they aren't just your average Joes. They'll be doing some pretty good stuff here on Tesla. Other team from Michigan is 3357, the Comets from Grand Rapids. Last year, they were definitely uh, above and beyond one of the best teleop robots in the world, and they're looking to keep that up. This year, it started off with their weakness being their field awareness, but it's definitely, as the season goes on, been improving, and they're getting better from each event. They're looking to make up for last year's uh, Einstein finals, and with this division, it's definitely something that's possible. Team 27, Rush. Uh, I forgot to write down where they're from, but last Clark. year for them... Where? Clark. Hold up. Yeah. yeah. Hold up. That's not a real place. Anyways, um, so last year for Rush obviously was good, uh, and this year they're off to an even better start because normally week one is their weakness, and this year they went with an event win, so that's definitely starting on the right foot, and they've kept it up. While MSC didn't go their way, an average of just over 10 cycles with defense is not something to turn your nose up at, so keep an eye out for them and that pink arm to be doing some crazy stuff. And last but not least from Michigan, 548, the Robo Stangs. They've just got some crazy cycle power. Look for them to be almost one of those underdogs teams. Uh, going over to my home province of Ontario, the two teams I'd like to really mention here are 4917, Sir Lancerbot from Elmira. Uh, the robot performance for them this year started a little bit rough, but they've been improving steadily, uh, had a good performance at district championships. Uh, we saw them on Einstein last year, and for them to do that again, what they need is consistency. Uh, last a uh, few weeks ago at the North Bay District event, they had their climber broken final uh, break in finals, which was hard for them, but obviously improved for district champs. They're back at it and they're looking to keep that up for worlds. And then Team 4476, the Waffles from Kingston, Ontario. We had some issues at the start of district champs and they were solved, but kind of took. Uh, we were taking them at 1114 and 1241 in semis, surprise, but uh, max of 16 game pieces and our new level two ability will help us with seeding, which has been something we were struggling with last year, especially. Heading into Indiana, we've got 1747 Harrison Boiler Robotics from La West Lafayette. Uh, they don't seed, but uh, <laughs> obviously there, there are someone to watch out for. Their teleop abilities are outstanding. Uh, just because they don't climb doesn't mean they're not one of the uh, highest ceilings in the division, per se. And then, obviously, the, the rookie story of the season, 74-57, super-duper robotics from Indianapolis. They're consistent. They are a rookie team that plays like a veteran. You know, they're going to be doing something crazy. You know, their season has been, you know, winner's banner. Winner's banner. Is that what you expect from a rookie? So look for them to pull out something crazy for Worlds to keep up, you know, the amazing year they've been having. And then in my other places category, we've got <laughs> 3324, the Metrobots from Ohio. They're just very good at scoring. Uh, 346, uh, the Robohawks from Chesterfield, Virginia. Their main attractive feature is their climber. They have apparently the highest OPR in the division, if that means anything to anybody. And... Um, 2168, the Aluminum Falcons, another one of those high cycling, good climbing robots from Groton, Connecticut. They are probably one of the top robots in this division as well. Flying over from Israel, we have 1577, Steampunk. They occasionally struggle under defense, but mostly it's something where if the right they have the right alliance, their cycling power is scary. So look for them to be doing well uh, in that. So for that, I guess you can say your top teams are probably 2168. You've got uh, 3620, and I would like to say as your next, like, best robot, it's probably 27. Uh, it could also be 3357 if they turn it up for Worlds. Some dark horses, you've got 3986 Espresso from St. Laurent, Quebec. They did really well at Montreal. They had a rough season last year, and they are here this year. They're doing really well. 610, the Crescent Coyotes from North York. 
They've also got a pink arm, so maybe them and 27 will pair up, but their main thing is consistency and improving. So they'll need to really work on getting in some consistent, solid matches, and then they'll be also in consideration. I guess you can say predictions. In the finals, you'll see 36-20, you'll see 33-57, you'll see uh, 21-68, and you might actually see 346 seeding really high with that climb and then making it through into, uh, you know, further into the elimination brackets. So... That was a lot of talking. I'm done now. Let's go to PJ. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Yeah. So I, sub, uh, another team I want to mention coming out of Tesla is 2576 Chilean Heart. They haven't competed since way back in week one at Del Mar. But um, they came out strong. Uh, they were a finalist at the event rank three. Um, they have sort of the modified, the uh, it was sort of the, uh, what were people calling it? Not the EveryBot, but like the uh, the West Coast products EveryBot. Uh, that's kind of what their robot looks like. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, the long layover has affected them at all and uh, anything like that, or if they've uh, improved anything in these, you know, seven weeks they've had off. Uh, anybody else have anything they want to mention about Tesla? Yeah. Uh, work dogs yeah oh, for again. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone all at once now. All right. So I'd like to mention Team 229, Great New York Team, Division by Zero. Uh, they had a great start week one, Festival de Robotique à Montreal. That's how you pronounce it, right, Tegan? Definitely. Uh, <laughs> they were third rank. They were regional finalists. They're a low boy. They're only level one, but they're crazy fast. And I see them being as a great robot to any alliance. They do a ton of panels and a ton of balls every single match. Here. I'd like to put in uh, for the Chesapeake plug, um, 2534 Lumberjacks, who have a very consistent climb, but like they need to work on their consistency with uh, just placing cargo and hatches if they want to do well. And then also 1629 Garrett Collision, who are very, very close to having the two hatch uh, port to hatch auto that people are starting to look for. And then also for 346, I think that they're probably going to be seeded around the middle simply for the fact that they can't do rocket so they can seed seed around the middle with their climb but they won't seed as high as others because they can't go for the rocket but they're def they would definitely be a good pick because they can just cycle so quickly on their cargo ships and the rocket low by cycle quickly i think i've got their numbers and that's like looking at they're around eight cycles a mash so they're definitely something where if they fall to the second round it's a steal um, as for their climber, it's mostly, I think, what teams will be looking for is if their climber is compatible with others, which it, very, 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 it may very well be. <laughs> so, I, I think, like, the thing is, with their climber, it's a flip. It's a flipper that flips in less than three seconds. What yeah. they need to do is find a climber that can be compatible with them on a vertical split of the plate, uh, of the platform, not a horizontal, or, a, like, a not a horizontal split. So is yeah. They climb up side by side next to each other and then go up. Not Another, they, oh, not sorry. one climbs up and then they climb up. Well, I would also be interested to see is if they can figure out a level two yeet so then they can climb from level two <laughs> to level three and then they're a bit uh, a bit more split horizontally. But I don't think that that's going to be something they're focusing on. They got they got a few other things on their plate first. They can try to do something like what 384 Sparky did at um, Digital Champs this year to where they like put put or activate their flipper in reverse. So the flipper is facing away from the platform, but then they place like their intake for balls down on the platform to get them slightly up and then push themselves onto the top. But it's going to be harder because their uh, cargo intake isn't as heavy as 384's was. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. I want to get to a, a, just a couple teams I want to make sure get mentioned here. We got 525, the Swart Dogs. Yep. Oh, they don't get it. mentioned a lot. Yeah, yeah, because they're <laughs> uh, they're from Iowa, and they go up and dominate a Minnesota event every year. So yeah. we, we got uh, to mention them. We've got um, 1259 Paradigm Shift, who dominates Wisconsin pretty uh, pretty consistently these days. They're an awesome team. And 541 Fighting Robotic Owls can solo rockets. They... Mm -hmm. Uh, we're doing consistent 11 to 12 game pieces on our alliance at District Champs. In I mean, the there's so many teams here. Yeah, that there's so many. Yeah. 341, 4590, yeah. like 1285, yeah. 5618. 379 uh, is a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah like it's yeah. just, 
it's hard to not mention everyone, but obviously you have to mention some and not others. But this I also, you know, even feel this is just such an even feel. This that is it's literally hard to not anybody. Mention anyone. Yeah, it's, uh, this is it's, literally it's, anybody. Uh, it's it's free real estate, right? Yeah. <laughs> the movie we didn't mention is going to get like picked super early. <laughs> yeah. Like, because you literally have no idea. It depends on who shows up. Everyone's been very good in their respective regions. And it's a matter of this is almost one of those divisions that's going to sort out what region has the edge over the other. Like, 1577, very strong in Israel, but struggles in Elam's there. Will that be enough to do well here? I don't know. Um, but there's a ton of teams here that could take it. You'll probably see some teams who have never seen Einstein before on it, just because that's one of the, you know... That's kind of the way this field is. There's a lot of teams here that are just having really solid years um, who are looking think, to make their mark. Do you think Tesla could win Einstein, though? I think they would. Tesla, the way you win Tesla is by being smarter than everyone else. It's not by being better because obviously Curie exists, right? You don't win the event. Or you don't even win Tesla if you don't understand how to play deep space. And from that, if that carries over, it could definitely put you in contention, but you kind of have to almost think outside the meta think outside what's been good typically and think it yeah you heard it here folks win by being smart not just by being smart. it sounds like a woody flowers quote honestly <laughs> that's good stuff with woody <laughs> we need your help to keep fun loud live and independent help us by visiting our patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now you can also support Fun Live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping Fun loud, live, and independent.